degrees. Yeah, we're in planting season for farms across Indiana, so it's a very active time, yes, in the fields, but also on all the roads around them. No, absolutely. A, a couple of farmers have a warning for drivers after having some, own, uh, some of their own recent close calls with drivers trailing too close to them, to the, the farm vehicles, the mm -hmm. implements that they carry on the roads. Yeah. Emily Kinzer, you actually spoke with, with a couple who had a lot to say about this. Yeah, and they're not going anywhere. Basically, now until the end of the year is how long farmers will be out in the field and on the roads. I talked to a couple, a husband and wife team, who said watching out for other vehicles is something they're always cautious of when on the roads. Just last month, actually, the Rushville Republican reported a fatal accident that happened between a tractor and a woman driving a van. So this couple told me uh, what people need to know when sharing the roads with tractors and large farm equipment is that you'll see an orange triangle on the back of uh, the sprayer is the machine that they were in. You can see that right there. That represents a slow moving vehicle and there's also flashing lights on there. And then the couple says oftentimes when people follow along for a while, they just kind of become immune to those flashing lights and stop paying attention to them and don't look for when a signal comes on. Take a listen to what the couple had to say. Not only is it dangerous for those in the cars and us for our own lives, but you know that piece of equipment that's behind me, that is not easily replaced. The most dangerous time for us traveling is when we're on a state highway a two, or, or any wide two-lane highway where people think that they can pass us at any time. Now, I went on a ride along with that farmer you just heard from to see with what he deals with on the road. You can see here in the video a driver actually doing what they're supposed to do, pulling over in advance up the roadway waiting for us to pass. Now, also this video gives you just a little bit of perspective on just how little they can't see when the farmer's in the cab of what this is right here as a sprayer. So that's why it's so important that other drivers are aware, they keep their distance, and of course, don't illegally pass. Yeah, right. So ask a farmer they know where the low spots the high spots are in their fields and things like that do they kind of take a similar mindset when they're on the roads around those fields yeah one thing that farmer said is when i was riding along with him i memorized the ditches the mailbox oh, yeah. the tree lines everything because at any point in time someone may be coming up trying to pass i'm guilty not illegally passing but <laughs> but being behind one saying oh, yeah get all the way yeah. you know you're going but 10 miles per hour exactly but if they get over at one wrong spot they could be tipping that big machinery over mm -hmm. and that's not just insurance and lives they're worrying about, but that's their product. Yeah, you right. Know, they're, they're getting this stuff in the field, in the ground. So yeah, some of, those, some of those pieces of equipment are four or $500,000. Mm -hmm. It's no expensive. easy task to just replace those. Yeah. Exactly. And so. thousands upon thousands of pounds. Yes, so. right. Yes. And a headache yes. on top of all <laughs> of that. <Right>. Exactly. <laughs> and, and, and the planting season may be a little compressed because of the weather that right. we had. It's such a soggy April. So 